Hello Classics, this is Teacher Regina and today's lesson is about the pictogram. First, let us discuss what is a pictogram. A pictograph uses pictures to show the data collected. We need to understand some things in a pictogram. So, all pictographs have labels to let you know what section stands for. So, for example, this one, it is showing the names of person. Next, that we need to know, all pictographs always have a title for us to know what we are talking about in the pictograph. And lastly, the most important all pictographs have a key to let you know what each picture stands for. For example, this one. In the key, it means that each ice cream cone is it equal to three counts. So, for example, Rachel, if we ask how many, how many ice cream cones does Rachel sold? So, as we see, we see only two cones. But it is counted as three ice cream cones according to the key. So if we ask, we can say that Rachel sold six ice cream cones. Again, why it's become six ice cream? And we see only two ice cream cones because each feature stands for three ice cream cones. Let us have an example so we can understand more. First one, a survey for students who eat the following fruits. So this is our pictogram. In this column showing the name of the fruits. Okay. In this column, it is showing the number of students. So the title of our pictogram is Fruits Eaten. Here is the P. It means each picture of mango, it is equal to two. And each picture of apple is equal to 2 also. And each picture of banana is equal to 2. Each picture of orange is equal to 2 also. Now, let us answer some question. How many students who likes to eat banana? So, as we see, if we count it, this is the banana. So, we say each picture of banana is equal to 2. So, we will count like this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So, there are 16 students who likes to eat banana. Again, I repeat, this is showing the number of students. Okay, let us have another question. How many students who likes to eat mango? Okay. So as we see, we see only three mango. But each mango is equal to two again. So let us count the student. Two, four, six. So it means there are six students who likes to eat mango. Let us have another one. How many students who likes to eat orange? Okay, so here we go. We are here in orange. So you see there are five orange, but each orange is equal to two. So let us count two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so how many oranges we have? Or how many students who likes to eat oranges? Ten students. Okay, next one. How many students who likes to eat apple? Where is the apple? As you see, we have 10 apples. But again, if you look at the key, each apple is equal to 2. So let us see how many students. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So, we have 20 students. Next, which fruit most likely to eat of the student? Okay, as you see here, 
the most picture that you see is what? The apple. So, apple is the fruit that most likely to eat by the student. Okay, so let us have another pictogram. In this pictograph, this restaurant offers free repeals when customers buy a beverage with their meal. Uh, beverage means drinks. Okay, so this is the title of our pictograph, Free Repeals. Now, this is our pictograph. As you see in this column is the name of the restaurant. And here is the number of drinks sold, the beverage that we are talking about. What is the key? Each drink or cup that you see is equal to 100 drinks. Okay, now let us see now the following question. So the first one, how many drinks did Tasty Taco and Paul Pizza sell combined? So where is Tasty Taco? This is Tasty Taco. And this is Paul Pizza. Combine means together. Okay, so let us count first tasty taco. So one, two, three, four. Again, each drink is equal to 100 drinks. So if we have four pictures here, it means tasty taco is equal to how many drink, how many number of drinks sold? 400. Because each one is 100. Next. Paul Pizza is how many? 1, 2, 3, and again, each one is equal to 100. So, we count it as 100, 200, and 300. So, if we put together Tasty Taco and Paul Pizza, Tasty Taco has 400 and then 300. The total is 700 drinks. Okay. Next question, which restaurant sold the most repeals? Oh, as you see, which restaurant you see the most number of drinks sold? So the answer is, it's very obvious, it is the Chicken Hot Restaurant. What is the total of repeals sold by all the restaurants? Okay, so now we need to know how many all the number of drink was sold by the restaurant. So here, Tasty Taco is 400. Okay, so we will count it as 400. So let us count. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,500, 1,600, 1,700, 1,800, 1,900, 2,000, 2,100, 2,200, 2,300, 2,400, 2,500, 2,600, 2,700, 2,800, and 2,900. So the total of drinks that sold by the old restaurant is 2,900 drinks. So that's all for today, class. Thank you for listening. I hope everyone is safe. See you soon. Keep up the good work.